Hello, happy National Pet Week. Thank you so much for joining us again in our tour of libraries as we travel around Northern Indiana and interview different library pets. Today, I'm at the Fulton County Public Library main branch in Rochester, and I am visiting with a whole tank full of library fish. Yes, we have some, oh cool. This one right over here is Charlie, and this blue one right here is Flipper. Um, this big orange one right here, his name is Bubba, and oh dear, Swimmy is that other orange one around the back. I'm not sure if you can see him right now, but I'm sure you can in a minute. So we have Digger is the one with the stripes, and then we have Spot right there. Oh, I'm so excited to be visiting with all of these fish today. It's so exciting when libraries have fun pets. So. As always, I have a few questions for these library fish. Find out what it's really like to be a library pet. So, I have some questions for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I know it is exciting for you to be part of library programs. Some of the librarians here told me that you got to be part of some other library programs like summer reading and the stuffed animal sleepover. That is so exciting. So, my first question for you though, and I'll ask you, Charlie, since you're right here, what is your favorite book? Do the librarians ever let you actually read books? I mean, it probably is bad for paper books in the water, but audiobooks are a possibility, right? Would you say you are hooked on reading? Please don't use the word hooked. It has bad connotations for us fish. They don't let us read paper books. Something about paper disintegrating in water? I've listened to story time. I love it. Sometimes I'll count the one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, along with Dr. Seuss. Okay, well, let's see here. Who else can I ask a question to? Spot, you're right up here in front of the glass. Tell me, Spot, do kids ever make faces at you? through the glass? Do they ever knock on the glass? Usually the kids are too dazzled by my beautiful stripes to make faces. Come on, Digger. You know that sometimes there are people who like to show us their best impression of a puffer fish. I think they're funny. So I do have a question for you. Have you ever read about pout pout fish? Or rainbow fish? Yes. Flipper, you look kind of like rainbow fish. Doesn't Flipper look kind of like rainbow fish with the blue scales? Well, I'm obviously rainbow fish. As you can see, I am the same lovely shade of blue. And I am incredibly nice to everyone in this tank, unlike some other fish I could mention. Hey, that isn't very nice. Of course you'd say that, Pout Pout. Well, if it isn't the carp calling the catfish brown. All right, serious question now. Has anyone ever tried to fish nap you from the library? Are you kidding? This tank is basically Fort Knox for fish. I've never felt safer in all my life. All right, this next question has to go to Probably Bubba or maybe Swimming because you're gold. Is it true that goldfish only have a three second memory span? Mm, wait, what was the question? Who are you What's again? What's going on? Why are, we all, why are we talking to you? Just kidding. In all seriousness, goldfish can remember things for at least five months. Or so they tell me. Well, good to know! Thanks for telling me! Alright, I have another question for you. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? I would visit a pineapple under the sea. I would visit Atlantis. I want to go meet the Little Mermaid. 
42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. The Great Coral Reef. Sea World. Okay, now, I know we don't like to talk about sensitive subjects, but I do have a question for you. Has anyone tried to check out a seafood cookbook in front of you? And if so, how did that make you feel? Sadly, yes. The Fish Are Friends Not Food campaign didn't work out quite the way we'd hoped. Usually those people try to sneak out the other door because they know it bothers us. I thought cannibalism died out years ago. All right, so what is your biggest inspiration as a library fish? Obviously the blue whale. Yes, obviously. Did you know that blue whales can grow up to 82 feet long? My mom says that if I eat my plankton, I could grow that big. Finally, what is the best part about being a library fish? Being part of a stuffed animal sleepover. Being the library mascot. Sure beats the dentist's office. Nobody was happy to be there. Everybody's happy to be at the library. Well, this has been a very enlightening conversation with the fish tank here at the Fulton County Public Library. I hope you have learned some new things about what being a library pet is all about. Thanks for joining us today, and a big thanks to Bubba, Swimmy, Digger, Spot, Charlie, and Flipper. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to me today and tell me more about what it's like to be a library fish. A big thanks to the Rochester Public Library and the fantastic staff here as well for letting me come do this interview. Hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time.